Hey there, my name is Suman and welcome to Purple Pie Studios. So this is the lesson 10 of the Corporate Explainer Animation course. And in this lesson, we will learn how to animate this UI pop-up like this. And in case you have missed the previous lessons of this course, then you can check it out from the playlist link that is provided in the description. And you can get all the files, assets and illustrations that we are using throughout the course again from the link provided in the description and also in the pinned comment section. So that being said, without any further delay, let's dive right into the animation process. Okay, so we are in After Effects and Inside the assets folder here in the project panel, the very first composition you will see is the frame to web. We will bring it and drop it here in the uh, in this composition timeline on top of the background layer. And now let's rescale and reposition it properly to fit it inside the frame. Okay, let's get inside the composition of the web UI and here we have the layers separated for this uh, card. So first let's pre-comp it all together as card one. Again, let's get inside the composition and we can use the region of interest to remove the extra space. And then crop comp to region of interest. Again, re let's reposition it properly. And now let's select this card here in the right side and pre-comp it. Let's get inside the composition, use the region of interest to remove the extra space, then composition, crop comp to region of interest and reposition it to its original location. Okay, now I think we need to apply some drop shadow for this layers because it is completely blending with the background. So go to FX and presets panel and type in drop shadow. Uh, with the direction 0, distance 0, softness of around 50 and uh, opacity of 25. Let's decrease the softness to about 25. Yeah, this one is looking good. So let's copy it and paste it on this layer. I think we can even paste it on the header layer as well. And now let's duplicate this card UI layer four more times. Let's move it, move on over here. Let's select all the card layers. So now we would need the align panel. In case you cannot find the align panel, just go to Windows and find it from here and check it. So we will select all the card layers, then go to distribute and select distribute uh, vertically. I think we have to redistribute it one more time. So let's move this even down. Let's select all the layers. And yeah, this one is properly distributed. And now we can delete this card layer. And now let's select all the card composition layers and uh, use the background layer as an alpha mat and also turn on the visibility. Same we can do with the header layer. Also, I would like to add a null object, then place it over here and place it on top of the card. Let's name it card and parent all the card compositions with this so that we can also animate a scroll animation like this. Okay, now let's get started with the animation. So let's get back to frame number two and Let's uh, start the animation from where the character is hitting the enter button. Just few frames before the character is hitting the enter button. So I think somewhere around here. All right. So let's select this web UI layer. So now open the position property and add a keyframe. Open the scale property and add a keyframe and Open the opacity property and add a keyframe. Press U to open the properties with keyframes. And, and now let's jump on to next 30 frames. And let's add keyframes. Let's move the playhead to the first frame and let's bring the UI down a little bit and scale down the UI and bring the opacity down to 0%. 
easy is the keyframe and go to the motion graph editor and we will just decrease the ease at the start and increase the ease at the end and this is how it looks like so from here when the ui has started appearing a little bit we will start animating the uh, inside elements of the of the ui so let's start with animating the header let's open the position property add a keyframe let's jump on to next uh, about 25 frames and add a keyframe now at the start we will just move the header outside that's it this is the keyframe and move to the motion graph editor and is at the end and i think we can speed it up a little bit so this one looks good so after the header is uh, starting to appear we can even uh, make the slider this slider appear as well so for that let's select these two slider layers and convert it into a shape layer go to create create shape from vector layer and delete this illustration layers and when you create shapes from illustration layers uh, you sometimes end up creating these uh, groups or merge paths which is basically taking the whole uh, space of the composition you can easily remove it by selecting the pen tool and then select one of the edge and then use the normal selection tool to select the entire vertex and just delete it that's it same we can do with the other layer so for this layer let's open the shape path property add keyframe for this one also let's open the shape path property add keyframe press u to open the property with keyframe let's jump on to next 20 frame and add keyframe at the start we will just select the path property and just scale it down like this that's it same thing we will do with the other layer now is this the keyframe and just go to the motion graph editor decrease the ease at the end and increase the ease at the start like this and also i would like to offset the slider from the slider background like this so this is how it's going to turn out and also i would like to uh, trim the layer from the start for both the slider layers okay i think we can uh, slow down this whole animation a little bit for the slider popping up and i think we can start and i think we can start the animation by a few frames earlier yeah this one is looking better so after the slider starts appearing we can also make these cards start appearing as well so let's start the layer start from here and then uh, open the position property add keyframe then open the opacity property and add keyframe also let's open the scale property and add keyframe let's jump on to next 30 frames and press u to open the properties with keyframes and just add keyframes on all these properties at the start we will move all the layers down by a few pixels then scale it down also and then decrease the opacity to zero degree also let's decrease the scale to about 70 percent now easy is all the keyframes then go to the motion graph editor decrease the ease at the start and increase the ease at the end like this and now we can just offset the cards from one another so that one starts popping up after the other so when the card starts popping up we can even add some scrolling animation let's add a keyframe on the position property and here we are just going to scroll it up like this
and easy is the keyframe. Go to the motion crop editor and pull the bezier handle at the end. Now, when the cards are scrolling, of course, this scroll bar will also move, right? So, for that, we are also going to add a keyframe on the position property and a keyframe at the end. And here we will move the scroll bar down like this. And we can copy and paste the motion graph editor of this set of keyframes using is copy. So select this uh, set of keyframes, then go to is copy, click on copy, then select this linear set of keyframes, click on is. Now the motion graph has properly copied and pasted. Okay, I think we can start the scroll by a few frames earlier and make it slower a little bit. And I think we can make the cards appear by a few frames earlier as well. So select all the card layers, just move it forward by a few frames. And uh, also let's slow down the scrolling. Yeah, this one is looking better. And after that, we will also animate this UI card as well. So first, let's start the layer from here. Open the position property, add a keyframe. Open the scale property and add a keyframe. And open the opacity property and add keyframe. Now, let's jump on to next 30 frames and add keyframes. And let's... Uh, move it down and also let's decrease the skill and also decrease the opacity easy is the keyframe go to the motion graph editor pull the busy handle at the end and uh, just remove the ease at the start all right so for this one i think we can even uh, animate the internal element of this ui card so that the overall uh, ui animation looks a bit more dynamic so let's move the playhead somewhere around here let's uh, get inside the composition select these two layers and and select all these layers excluding the background layer and convert it into a uh, shape layer so delete all the illustration layers again some unnecessary merge parts or uh, grouping has happened while creating it in, into a shape layer so we can again use the pen tool then select the vertexes like this and just delete it so simply remove this extra merge parts and the group layers that are created all right for line one let's uh, click on this add button and let's add a trim path and under trim path we will animate the end property so let's add a keyframe on the end keep end zero and let's jump on to next 35 frames and add a keyframe at the start we will give the end zero percent this is the keyframe then go to the motion graph editor and pull the busy handle at the end now we will copy this trim path property and uh, paste it for the line number two by offsetting it by a few frames that's it and then we can open the shape path property of these buttons add a keyframe let's jump on to next 35 frames add keyframe and at the start we can just scale it down just in the x-axis like this so easy is the keyframe then move on to the motion graph editor and uh, decrease the ease at the at the start and increase the ease at the end then we will copy this set of keyframes using ease copy okay now we will trim this layer from the start from where the from where the keyframe animation is starting and after that we can duplicate this few more times and duplicate it for the other two button layers so that we don't have to animate it two more times and just reposition it to its original location and just delete these two button layers and just offset it by a few frames 
So let's check out the animation from this frame. All right, it looks good, but I think uh, the whole UI should pop up and every animation of each and every element should uh, complete. So I think we need to move the UI forward by a few frames. So somewhere around here, let's check it out now. And that was all for this video. And in the next lesson, we will learn how to animate UI inside the laptop screen like this. So that is it and I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.